Hi guys, there's this fluid simulation in Unreal Engine 4.26, which is really awesome. Which is definitely awesome. Just look at it. Looks really good. But I've been looking around for finding some documents or any video to uh, about how to do it on your own character, not just any other mesh. You know, they have this. Uh, example of character which is really good but it's not a real character you know so in this video i'm going to show you how, how to in integrate everything into your own character so first off first of all you need to uh have been using this water body in uh, on engine 4 so to do so just go to the plugins just search water uh, enable this water and then search land land mass yeah enable this one as well and then restart your engine you have to restart the engine and wait for the compile uh, shaders to be compiled and then uh what you're gonna do is search water and just uh choose one of these and drag it into your scene you may not be able to see the water and that's because you uh you need to drag the water brush manager into the scene as well. This is the only reason it couldn't be uh, able to show you the things on the scene. So here you go. You have the water. I'm, I've prepared my scene before, so I'm not going to do it again to uh, make things faster and show you things a lot faster. Um, so once you have the river or any other water body in your scene you want it to be simulated you want it to collide with other objects so how to do that there's this option here make sure to check show engine content and show plugin content and uh, go here search water yeah water content inside of water content there's this file fluid simulation go into it and there's this uh bp it's pre-built bp uh for unreal engine 426 drag that into your scene uh one other thing that you have to do there's this bug in unreal engine which is uh um, Yeah, here it is. Uh, inside of a fluid simulation, material simulation, inside of this material, uh, you might, def I mean, you will uh, be definitely facing this error here and this material hasn't been compiled. So what you need to do, uh, come to here, this texture sample and set it to foam rt and then apply save and you're good to go so back to the fluid simulation blueprints once you drag this one out uh, into your scene you will have the simulation to your scene so how to integrate that into your your own character so go to the examples fluid simulation blueprints example go to the uh, this ex skeletal mesh here so you, you are having some blueprints here. The only thing here you have to do is to copy and paste these things into your own character. It's as simple as that. So uh, if you look at it, uh, they're doing it from event be begin play. So this is how you're going to do it. And there are some components here. Actually, this component isn't important. Just doesn't really matter. So you have to copy this tree into your own character. The way you do that is to right click or just click on it, control C, I'm sorry, control C or right click copy and then come here. Um, I have my variables here. I've already copied those, but the way you do it is just click on the screen or here and control V. It's as simple as that. Copy these three, one, two, three to your own character blueprint and then what i've uh what i've done is to 
I made a custom event, custom event, and named it Fluid Sim. Uh, and then select this all, Control C, and then Control C, and then Control. I'm sorry, doesn't work. Control C, Control V, and it copies all the things that are here. So and uh, hook it up to the custom event you created. So we have to make sure that it's being run by the event begin play. So what I did is just after event begin play, I just hooked up my fluid scene, which is a custom event. It wouldn't work now, but you have to do some things. It's already set on, if you see here, if you watch here, it's set on skeletal mesh. What you have to do, your, your skeletal mesh probably isn't named skeletal mesh. Your, yours probably named something else. Mine is mesh. Just do it like this. It's as simple as that. Make sure to uh, hook this one up to uh, to this point to. Uh, the point that skeletal mesh is uh, connected, connect that one up, and uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing else. Sometimes there might be a need to uh, specify water level, which uh, how you can do it is just go to the blueprint examples. <clears throat> And you have water force. Yeah, you have BP dynamic force components. Drag it in here, and uh, this is the location. This will be the location of the water level. So just copy this one and paste it here. It's as simple as that. But I'm I'm really not sure you would encounter such a problem. I. I really don't think this would happen. So, uh, other things that you might want to change is go to the fluid force dynamic settings and under the default values, fluid force dynamic settings, you need to just crank these things a little bit down. These are too, this by default, this will be too high for a simulation. It's, it is too high, I'm telling you. So what I did, I just divided this one by two and divided the other one by some variable. <laughs> I didn't even know, but these are my values. It's as simple as that. So what you will get will be something like this, which is really good. I mean, look at the bubbles, look at the circles around the water. This, this simulation is really good. I mean, I've never thought this would happen in Unreal Engine 4, but here we are, and it's so easy to do. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and if you did, just hit that like button, and if you have any questions, just comment it below. Cheers!